ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning, but at LOCAD, we would argue that it is an inaccurate acronym. Planning for ERP is of secondary concern at best, and planning in the name should really be replaced with management, being called ERM instead if you ask us, but I digress. So, ERP refers to a class of enterprise software that supports and tracks the routine operations for a company, such as cash flows, raw materials, work in progress, and products, clients' orders, purchase orders, payrolls, and so on. Since the inventions of barcode readers in the 50s and relational databases in the 70s to store, organize, and process electronic records, there was a rapidly increasing need to have a pre-configurated system in place to streamline operations that previously required extensive clerical efforts. Relational systems emerged in the 80s responding to this need and those are what we later started referring to as the first ERP systems. In a large company, whenever you do something of a transactional nature, internally or externally, there is tons of paperwork involved. For example, this could be processing an invoice, purchase orders, receipts and wire transfers to and from the bank. Dozens of documents need to be sent, signed, and approved, and so on. An ERP system simply takes care of all of these mundane tasks, these accounting shenanigans, if you wish, and automates all of these basic workflows that need to happen. The challenge with ERP is coping with the immense diversity of the assets a company has to keep track of. Most ERP companies implement a module-based pricing strategy, meaning that the software is divided and sold as modules, depending on the workflow that needs to be automized for the core business functions, such as accounting, procurement, distribution, finance, sales, and so on. However, as businesses are incredibly diverse and complex, there often is a need for further customization. And it is common practice to outsource these final developments to third-party companies, the so-called integrators. These integrators also typically take care of data migration when upgrading ERP systems. To summarize, ERP systems are designed to keep track of routine operations of transactional nature, but are not designed for any analytical work, such as forecasting. As there is a vast array of different assets and workflows a business needs to keep track of, the main challenge for ERP is really encompassing this immense complexity. Common practice is having a pre-configurated software split into modules and solved individually depending on the workflow specific to your business.